Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video Future Crypto Investors And today we are taking a beginner friendly approach to creating and verifying your Coinbase account in 2024 If you are new to the crypto space, stick around as we walk through the essential steps to get you started on Coinbase So guys, let's get started So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information so the first thing obviously guys is to go to the coinbase official website but before we do that we need to check the accepted countries so accepted countries and here as you can see we have this article and uh, let me just see so coinbase lfc is supported in all countries except singapore and any country restricted by the office foreign assets control so here we let's check like which are okay we can use the us so in case guys just in case your country wasn't accepted you can use this extension which basically a free uh, vpn that can make you connect into the united states for example and with it you can go to the coinbase official website and start sign up so here we go here i am and now i am logged in from the us website or us servers so to create an account it's pretty simple click on sign up right here let me just click and i need to get an email so let's try to get this email there we go and now we simply have to wait a little bit and yeah that's perfectly it so now what i'm gonna do is to paste my email right here and click on sign up and now we are creating the account as you can see here they are asking me if i would like to create an account with email or simply go ahead and sign in with my email like that for me i'm going to sign in with another gmail i think so sign up i'm gonna use like this gmail there we go copy and I'm gonna wait here uh, okay so there we go now this is first so welcome to coinbase which writing platform is right for you you can explore right here but for now we are going to choose your account type so for the account type there is the individual and there is the business so for the individual individuals who want to trade send and receive crypto get price alerts and more and there was the other which is business for businesses and high net worth individuals who want to accept uh, custody trade crypto and more so for individual I'm going to click on get started and simply now we simply have to wait a little bit and here I have to put this email so as you can see here uh, let me just go back once okay so there we go so here after you click on individual you should face this page so what you should do here is to paste your email here give your legal name and your legal last name and here put the password so since I am simply just gonna uh, do this for like the sake of this video let me just create something uh, I don't know this is kind of hard all right I'm not gonna like put my real informations so here I certify that I am 18 years old or older and what I'm gonna do is to simply copy the password because I don't know what I have written so we'll be pausing this video and be right back so there I am uh, I have copied the password so now I'm just gonna click on create free accounts after I clicked on that button we have to go to the second process so we have to verify now our email go to your email address so there we go and here we have the uh, passwords verify email address and here we have to put our phone number so here as we said at the beginning uh, we have to use a US uh, basically IP because otherwise we, do, we wouldn't be accepted in here so here what you should do is to simply get a US uh, uh, like number in case you, sh you didn't know how to get one well you can get it by going to 5sim uh, yep this website is very good you can get here any kind of uh, like number for a cheap price so let's type here coinbase there we go and here the USA 
and as you can see here we have this virtual number the success ratio of having this number is basically very low because it is 3.85 percent for one sms which is a very 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 low percentage but yeah it is only for 22.9 rupees which is let's search for it rupees in usd um let's see it is yeah 0 0.227 cents so it's not really that much of money so you will get that number and then you can come here paste that number and you will get the email right like right here in this website itself and paste the code right here now after you do that you will have uh, the second process which is basically by opening your mobile phone and scanning a code this code is basically for the Google authentication so once every time you open your account or you try to buy you open your account you will have two ways of connecting to it either by having uh, um, like a code sent to you by your number or the second method which is basically by your authentication app the authentication app will have a code that will keep changing every 10 seconds so this is a very good tool to keep your account safe because the number will keep changing every 10 seconds randomly so they they, they wouldn't be able uh, to steal it from you or something like that because it is not something that's really fixed it is something viable depending on the the second or like depending on the day it can be uh, four 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 it can be three two one eight, nine three two it can be a lot of numbers if you got what i mean so this is the two-factor authentication and this is exactly what it means now after you're done with that the next thing is pretty simple now you are done creating your account you put your informations correctly now it comes the process of the actual verification of your id so here guys we have like the process of how it works so access the Coinbase mobile app or, or your Coinbase account and sign in go to document verification which is in your case it's not the, it's not gonna be like that it's gonna be directly after you sign up they will ask you for the documents so for the accepted identity documents there is a lot of variations for the United States there is states issued ID such as driver license or identification card passport and the United States permanent residence card the outside of United States passport, government issued photo ID, and the national identity card. For the unaccepted identity document, there is school IDs, medical IDs, temporary paper IDs, resident permits, public service card, and military IDs. So in general, this is the, these are the IDs. So you should simply just take a picture from uh, like the front and behind and send it to them. After a few minutes, you will be verified and your account should be created. So guys, that was it for today's tutorial. Thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next video.